Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn city-wide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. I remember you, monster. You stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face. Folks lived in the St. Louis Hooverville in 32, and the drop is worse by a mile. Nobody's supposed to live down here. 
city pissing on us. Never try. Ryan doesn't care and Fontaine's a damn crook. But Dr. Lamb cares. We're still people to her. She's offering free mental counseling on Sundays. When I go, I get the feeling she's got a plan for Rapture. And for me. Oh, I smell 
one has Adam. I just remember Mom. Stash in this clinic to spice up a rhinoceros. Of course, every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep them out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner. My folks lived in the St. Louis Hooverville in 32, and the drop is worse by a mile. Nobody's supposed to live down here. City pissing on us. Never try. Ryan doesn't care and Fontaine's a damn crook. But Dr. Lamb cares. We're still people to her. She's offering free mental counseling on Sundays. When I go, I get the feeling she's got a plan for Rapture. And for me.
That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Salvation? Yeah. 
Easy now. Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording him, then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. Old Papa's drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture, but it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some uh, affordable housing. 
When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in alternatives. I don't favor spending more than an hour or so down here at a time. There ain't a side of the tracks more wrong than under them. Bryson says piss off and take the shit out. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home. But that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're going to have to work out how he got so burly. Since you already laid your hands on a genetic research camera, this next part will be easier. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splice a tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take him out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. Mother doesn't have to see me this way. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale. So you gotta change it up to keep it fresh.
Remember, son, without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie. And that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. Together again. 
better. Do you remember what you told me, Bill? A marketplace of ideas. That was you. If I submit to the debates with Lamb, we defang her. I have done so. And have you been to Popper's Drop, Bill? Listen. When you're down and out. Between each song, these Oblomovs hand out her manifesto. Her face adorns every wall. Saint Lamb. You made her, McDonough. And now, you will convince the Council to sponsor her silence. I'll send them. themselves over. Like dying is an honor. I'd almost feel sorry for them if they didn't have my daughter. I'm going to find Lamb and take Cindy back one way or another. Thank you. 
publish this stuff. It's newsman pay dirt. Sinclair says Ryan's making a move against Sophia Lamb, and they want to cut me in on the action. They're building a case that Lamb's a closet pinko, sort of an undercover thing. So I cozy up to this guy Wales, who works for Lamb, making like I want to join up. Then I find out whether he grew his beard for Jesus or Karl Marx. There's one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Look at you, sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new tr trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. Hypnotize your foes. Laugh as they fight each other. That's it. We have to close down the limbo. Bomb goes off in that fancy place uptown and everybody panics. Pulls their money out of the banks. A whole city tugging on the same dollar bill. So the banks fold. And maybe one in ten got their savings out. <sighs> Who's gonna come here me nightingaling about how broke they are? How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor?
For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? <laughs> Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Now Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. I know it's wrong to feel so fine right now, but I can't seem to quit this grin. Dr. Lamb came to tell me that Ryan's finally gonna lock her up. It's gonna gut the believers, and I should feel the same. But Sophia remembered that I, that I was barren, and she asked me to take care of her baby while she's gone. Baby Eleanor Lamb, gorgeous, clever little girl. 
I have a child now, and it's going to put the whole world on right.
Now, I'm a modest man, but my piecemeal needle scam's an outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about the great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me. Build it.
Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. an echo to my name. Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I 
won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And... And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. What are you doing? Come on, you goddamn monster. Do what you always do. Come on! You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirlybirds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. Sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. Hop on, kid, and start the train. Don't make me pull the whistle now. <laughs> 